An order of service for noonday, Tuesday, January 19th, 2021. We meet to worship God and give thanks for the birth of Jesus, who lived and died and rose from the dead, to show that God loves us, God calls us, and God is with us. Bring mind and body, heart and voice, our Savior comes, rejoice, rejoice. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 146. Happy are they who have the God of Jacob for their help, whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth, the seas, and all that is in him who keeps his promise forever, who gives justice to those who are oppressed and food to those who are hunger. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord cares for the stranger. He sustains the orphan and the widow, but frustrates the ways of the wicked. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me, and I in them, bear much fruit because apart from me, you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish and it will be done for you. My father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because servants does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I choose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last so that the father will give you what you ask him in my name. Today we remember Wolfstan, Bishop of Worcestershire, 1095. Wolfstan was one of the few Anglo-Saxon bishops to retain his see after the Norman conquest of England in 1066. Beloved by all classes of society for his humility, charity, and courage, he was born in Worcestershire around 1008. Educated in Benedictine abbeys, he spent most of his life in the Cathedral Monastery of Worcestershire as a monk, prior, and then as a bishop of the see from 1064 until his death in 1098. Even though Wolfstein had been sympathetic to King Herod of Wessex, he was among those to submit to William the Conqueror in 1066. He was therefore allowed to retain his see. At first, the Normans tended to disparage him for his lack of education and his inability to speak French, but became one of William's most trusted advisors and administrators and remained loyal in support for William I and William II in their work of reform and orderly government. Because he was the most respected prelate of the Anglo-Saxon Church, Wolfstein's profession of canonical obedience to the normal Archbishop of Canterbury, appointed by William the Conqueror. Wolfstein provided a key factor in transition from Anglo-Saxon to Anglo-Norman Christianity. The Archbishop recognized the strength of Wolfstein's character and the two men worked together to end the practice of kidnapping Englishmen and selling them as slaves in Ireland. Because William's policy was to avoid 
appoint his fellow Normans to English Episcopate. By the time of William's death in 1087, Wolfstein was the only remaining English bishop still living. He died in 1092. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Almighty God, multiply us faithful pastors who, like your servant Wolfstein, gave courage to those who were oppressed and held in bondage. And bring us all, we pray, into true freedom of your kingdom, that we might know and love Christ in loving one another. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Living Christ, risen from the dead, alive with us, alive in God, we praise and adore you. We praise and adore you. Because you did not cling to equality with God, but humbled yourself and became a human being, we praise and adore you. We praise and adore you. Because like us, you formed us in your womb, delivered, nursed, and protected. We praise and adore you. We praise and adore you. Because you were born not to heaven of tranquility, but on a journey ordained by an empire to count and tax its subjects. We praise and adore you. We praise and adore you. Because you gave yourself entirely to God and proclaimed God's justice and love consistently and with courage, we praise and adore you. We praise and adore you. Because you gave your life for us and suffered torture and humiliation, and because you trusted in God, even when forsaken, we praise and adore you. We praise and adore you. Living Christ, born of Mary, crucified and risen, alive in us, alive in God. We praise and adore you. We praise and adore you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>